set out here as a, the only Autobahn uh, certified wildlife sanctuary for golf in the UAE. We have a very strong focus on sustainability, the environment and, and outreach and education with the local community. Within the club, or well, the actual clubhouse and on course, is, uh, we've gone plastic free. Three years ago, the golf club changed from uh, potable water to treated sewage effluent. So one that was one environmentally better for, for Abu Dhabi using recycled water. Sadia Beach Golf Club has a Toro Lynx automated irrigation system that we can control the, the sprinkler volumes down to the second. Uh, we also use on-site daily a, a pogo moisture meter. One, it gives us data on what the profile is doing, the soil profile is doing, uh, and how we need to, to treat those areas. With the water change, we decided to go also down the route of trying to be more sustainable with the turf grasses that we use here. So a conversion was done uh, 24 months ago uh, on all our fairways and surrounds to uh, Dynasty uh, Paspalum. And, and to be honest with you, it's aesthetically a better grass for the golf course. A pretty unique uh, property within the UAE. You know, we've got 190 species of bird life here. We have over 100 gazelles that, that live and roam here freely. So they live in, in a sustained within the property. A couple of years ago, two years ago, there was a uh, thought to be endangered or an ex ex extinct bird uh, called a step wimbrel. So that was a pretty uh, interesting find internationally and got a lot of international exposure because it hadn't been seen in 10 or 15 years. Pretty unique property here with, you know, previous this was, you know, this is reclaimed land. So to create a, okay, a man-made ecosystem, which actually gives back to the environment is pretty cool.